Hi, I'm Myra Ferguson for Ajar Productions, and in this video I'd like to show you how to make a domino effect with InDesign and In5. A domino effect is a sort of chain reaction. We can apply this concept to our content to make it autoplay the flipping of content sequentially. Here's an example of an In5 exported page with five playing cards. When the page loads, the cards automatically flip over to reveal the other side. After all the cards are revealed, then the cards flip back over. In this example, the cards only flip over and then back again. This effect can be applied to more than just cards. It could be to show products, sales, upcoming events, whatever you like. Let's jump over to InDesign to see how to set it up. I've created a background from a background fill with an inner glow effect for the texture and five cards using placed artwork for the cover and the face for each card. Let's lock the background layer and align the cards to their centers. To make the first card, I'll select the cover and face and go to Window, Interactive, Object States, and click the plus button at the bottom of the panel to convert the selection to a multi-state object, or MSO. I'll repeat the process for the other MSOs. Once the cards are all MSOs, I can use N5 to turn them into 3D flip cards. I'll select the first card and go to N5, Interactive Widgets, 3D Flip Card. Notice that the 3D flip card is under the Pro Plus header in the menu, which means you'll need a Pro level or higher N5 subscription to access this feature. Then the 3D flip card panel opens. Only two state MSOs can be converted to a 3D flip card. If I don't have one selected, then the panel will show a message to select one. Once I select a two state MSO, I can set which direction I want it to flip. Let's make it flip horizontally. I'll set the other MSOs the same way. When an MSO has been turned into a 3D flip card and exported, clicking on it makes it flip. What I want it to do is automatically flip. For that, I'll use another N5 feature, the Slideshow widget. I'll go to N5, Interactive Widgets, Slideshow. The Slideshow widget also requires an MSO. Like the 3D flip card panel, if an MSO isn't selected, it'll show a message to select one. However, with this widget, the MSO can have as many states as I like. Once I select an MSO, the slideshow panel gives me a variety of options. I want to set it to auto play to make the animation play without the 3D flip card being clicked in the output. It doesn't need a delay, but I am going to set it to play two times with an interval of 2.5 seconds. I'll deselect all the rest of the options. To make the domino effect or chain reaction, I'll change the settings for the next MSO. I'll select it, set it to auto play with the same interval and playing time and deselect the other options. The difference is that I'll set this one to have a half second delay. I'll increase the delay for each MSO. If I have five cards with a half second between them, that means the last card will have a two second delay. When the MSO switch back to their other state or flip back over because they're 3D flip cards, the 2.5 second interval means that the first one will play again a half second after the fifth card plays to keep the timing all the same. Once all the slideshow settings are applied, we can save and export. And here's the result. I should add that the 3D flip cards can still be clicked to make them flip over. If you'd like them to not be clickable, then you can place an invisible rectangle, one with no stroke and no fill, over all the cards. Now that you know how it's made, you can customize it to loop, stop after a desired number flips, and more. Let us know in the comments how you might use a domino effect or chain reaction of auto-playing 3D flip cards in your N5 exported content. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and be sure to check out N5 at n5.us. Thanks so much for watching.